Welcome back aboard the Normandy. Here we are, and we are moving forward. We now have a full crew. Looks like uh, we have Liara with us, and I just want to do a little bit of crew talk here. Yes, Commander. I don't think we have anything else to really talk to him Carry about. Carry on, Presley. Just wondered yes, if you. Thank you. Ooh, heat load monitor. Oh, they keep adding new little things for us to uh, discover, right? That wasn't there before. Right, and now we have the uh, a little bit of experience go up levels just by talking to people. Joke or anything new? Any jokes? Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Yeah, I don't know. Did he? Because we had to get out of there on our own. The ship happened to be there, but uh, you sure you want that? Earning medals is hard. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say you sure you want that. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? All right. Um, didn't we... We already heard about his nickname, um, I thought. Ship status report, I just want to talk. Let's say ship How's status. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've balance isn't what you'd expect. Yeah, we know how... The Normandy's uh, probably he's, he's too great much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky and for you, I'm anything but average. We know that, Joker. I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me yep, as your... Yeah, we know that. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my okay, file... Okay, we're out of here. I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Hey, I'm hey, sorry, hey. Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. We're out of here. You put the. All right, there, we're you. done. We're out. We're done. We're done. Oh, and it's something else because he has nothing new for us to say to us. So uh, let's look outside. Okay. You know what? Hold on a second here. On that codex thing here, secondary, personal history, uh, primary. Where are they adding all this stuff? Ships, ships and vehicles. Heat management. Oh, so it's just our sensors. It's just talking about a little bit about the... Sh okay. I, it keeps saying... Uh, oh, and another one. Heat load monitor again. Okay. <laughs> it's just kind of like, all right, guys. And what's this? Oh, point defense systems. It's crazy. It's just crazy how many little uh, points there are laying around. I guess it makes it worth it to take time in between your missions, run around the Normandy, say hi to people. We already know that, though. But let's uh, let's have a little conversation, a little more crew talk, and then we are headed out onto the galaxy map to have grand adventures. I'm used to somebody being over here, whether it's Miranda or Liara or... Anything new, Caden? Probably not. Commander, do you have a minute? Oh, yeah, I do, actually. Um, how about, we'll, we'll be slightly rude. What's on your mind, Lieutenant? Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander, there's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. And it's funny, we finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Yep, I agree 100%. I'm sure your letters home are very <laughs> poignant. Just keep this kind of sentimentality out of the CIC. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to have wasted your time. I'm right about the mission, though. I know it. Yeah, I we're playing her. She's she's hard ass. She knows he's right, but at the same time, hey, you got to keep your shit down. Uh, why would we have anything in the locker? More stuff. Okay, I mean, what? All right, all right. There's nothing that way anymore. There's no calibrations down that way, are there? No, that's we're downstairs for uh, I think Eris. But here is the medical lab. Ooh, yeah, we'll take some metagel. Um, is Liara downstairs? Is she up here? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Um, we are good. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I love hearing her voice once in a while, though. Oh, there we are. What's up, Liara? Let's say hi. What you doing? Getting into trouble? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I just want to talk. 
Of course. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Do we start making out now or later? No, well, don't mention it, you're welcome, or just part of the mission, ma'am. I had to save you. You can help me stop Saren. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. All we know about Benezia, though, is that we heard her voice, you know, so... She obviously, we assume she has to be working with Saren and all this bad stuff, but at the same time, uh, you know, um, I will do whatever I can. We'll see. We're going to, I mean, we got to, we got to play, role play this a little bit. Promises are easy to make, but hard to keep. More than a little. I do not begrudge you your suspicions. I just hope in time you will come to trust me. Okay. Well, I'd like to talk to you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. We need to know me? who she is. I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Hey, you're right. That doesn't sound very interesting. On occasion, I have run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumbled across small bands of privateers. That probably does not seem very exciting to someone like you. I guess seeking out history's lost secrets holds a special appeal for me. I would give a century of my life to discover a beacon like the one you found on Eden Prime. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. I don't know, giving a century of her life doesn't sound like it's that big a tenth of her existence, so... Uh, I'm fascinating. Oh, oh. Or don't try to study me, you crazy. Um, you know, we'll take a, we'll take a compliment there. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. I'm not some artifact you can take back to your lab, Doctor. I... I am sorry, Commander. I did not mean it like that. I... I just... I am used to dealing with computers and data disks. I am not very good with people. That's okay. I let my professional curiosity get the better of me. Please forgive me. Let us talk about something else. She's a little bit on the spectrum, is that what she's saying? She's like, I'm having issues. What about, let, let's talk about your mother. We need, That's why you're here. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. All right, uh, you sound troubled, investigate. Maybe she's just evil. Any chance she's in this for power or personal gain? No, not the Benezia I knew. But I hadn't spoken with my mother in many years. She may have changed. Changed, like, drastically in a short period of time for an Asari, though, you would think. Because if she's only 100 years old, blah, 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 she's been studying for 50, who knows. But um, let's go with the, your culture, ma'am. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Yeah, well, there's a little bit of the Asari being like, we want everybody to be part of the galactic community and contribute to us so we're long as they're at the top right i don't know we know they they like to keep some stuff their cards uh close to their chest like what most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals Ooh. my species is monogendered male and female have no real meaning for us we still require a partner to reproduce this second parent however may be of any species and any gender um ah uh, well uh, 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 we're, we're gonna play it. She's, this is her first time kind of hearing about this, so... So you'll have sex with anything? Now you see how rumors get started. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. 
It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. Yep, yeah, so in a sense they are a part of, uh, every race is a part of the Asari because they uh, absorb and assimilate. What about the other parent? Yeah. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Oh, well, um, what about age difference? I don't know if they care. What about your father? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Ooh, which is really, really rare. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Oh man. Um, although I'll say, so the Asari developed this uh, form of procreation on planet in an isolated, so why, I don't understand the need for them to not be physical or to be androgynous, I, I, or not have sex, I don't know. It's It's just, it's kind of a weird... If, if they were expanded out and they couldn't procreate with each other, then they would have to procreate with other species. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get into the history of it. Let's find more. There, maybe it's in the books and stuff I haven't read. So uh, here we go. Why agree to the union if she didn't want any children? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. <laughs> um, then we, he, okay, did we, did we, didn't we already ask? Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though yeah. I know my father, if you okay, want to use you don't that know term, who though. Sorry, we're running Asari. around in circles here. Benezia never told you her partner's name. There we go. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not yeah, we got that. Asari daughters inherit race. Right. I am what is sometimes. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. Okay, she may let's get back to around to it. To the Sorry, guys. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You as Sari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner Foreshadowing. dies? Foreshadowing. Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Does that not sound like maybe what we're going to be running into in a new Mass Effect game at some point? I mean, why wouldn't, like, no matter what we do in these games, why wouldn't Liara have Shepard's baby? And, be, oh my god, I just, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, uh, investigate what else we got. We're done. We're out of here. I should go. Goodbye, that was a little, Shepard. a little abrupt, but uh, we'll dig at Liara. We're heading back out. Chakwas. That's good stuff, though. That's establishing their, the story with her. And we have to establish our character with all these people because, uh, yeah. This Daniela Shepard doesn't know these people. She's suspicious of them. She's the new commander. She's got to figure out what we're doing and where we're going. And I just want to pop down here and say hi to uh, the crew real quick. I don't know that they have anything drastic for me. Commander, how are you? I think thought we already Why got into this. Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer hmm. in the first place? That's a good question. I need to go. Yep. So long, Garrus. Oh. Yeah. Bye, oh, oh, Garrus. Oh, you were weirded out. Now, Ashley, I would think, would have something xenophobic to say. Commander? Um, 
Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One have on we one? talked? Sure. I-, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. It's not normal for an enlisted to speak informally with the commander. I figured since the crew was so small, you might be more permissive. I mean, that helmsman of yours. Most places, he'd be at Captain's Mast every day. <laughs> I-, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens. How the did Karen I know? And Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. Um, have we gotten to this before? That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Yeah, go do your duty, asshole. I'm gonna come over with my buddy Rex. So, we've got Saren on the run. Uh, I guess we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Uh, didn't we already go through this, though? He knew Saren? I believe so. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Hold on. I would have if I thought it was important. Or not. Um, Captain Anderson told us he had had contact with Saren. Let's see here. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Oh. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. And those scars on Rex here are just so badass. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out didn't even wait to get paid. Um, yeah, what, what was on the what ship? What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Okay. Well, which Who ship? ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. I think that's... That's it? That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Man, that sucks. Um, well, we'll say I see. So long, Rex. Because I I think we do see. All right, well, that was a good story. That was worth talking to. We have to progress these, talk to some people, get to know them. What do we got down here? Uh, core charge status. Oh, yeah. Adams, you got anything interesting for me? Something I can do for you, Commander. Probably not. Carry on, Adams. (laughs) Not unless you you have something you can do for me. (laughs) Oh. Hello, Shepard. Oh, you sound down. Um, <laughs> hold on. What's your problem? Never uh, mind. It's nothing. I'll be fine. You know what? I didn't mean to snap at you. What's wrong? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel yeah. out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? 
I run a fan every night. That's I have to. Like, I'm the same way. I need white noise. It's too quiet to sleep. I manage. I'm going to say it's too quiet. The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It hmm. means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. I think... Man... Okay, well, I, we're going to play this. I'm going to have to always kind of give my opinion and then play off of what she's doing here. But, uh, yeah, man, that's the point of going on adventures. Or, you know, like they say, you got to climb to the top of the mountain to realize that where you want to be was down in the village below all the time with your friends. It, it's just great. So um, we're going to tell her to stay focused, though. She's homesick, obviously. Maybe that's the point, right? Stay focused no matter what you're doing here. I need my crew to be in top form. I can't have you daydreaming about going home. Don't worry, Shepard. I know what's at stake. If we don't stop Seren, I won't have a home to go back to. I'll be ready when you need me. You got it. I don't think we have anything here. We talked about all that. I should go. We should go. See you later. You know, um, yeah, we, we've checked in, I think, on most people here. Uh, possibly everyone. Garrus. What's up, Garrus? We know. Get over there and tinker with something. Let's head on up and uh, hit our damn galaxy map as far as I know. Now where are we going? That's the question. I think I have an idea in my head. We have the full crew with us now. And uh... Wait, what the hell am I doing? Oh, we gotta go up now. Ladders. Or stairs. Ladders? Yeah. You know what I mean. Words and stuff. Open up door. Thank you. You should be automated. I don't need a button there. Heading out, heading out. All right. So where are we at? Theorem or theorem? Now, like I said, at some point here, I might start jumping around planets. I'll check everything out. Maybe on camera, off camera, we'll do something partway through um, for places that I missed. Okay, so we have Novaria and we have Pharos. Now, Pharos, some stuff's going down there. Novaria, I think, is where they think um, Matriarch Venezia might be. Is that what it is? And then Citadel, we could head back. We do have a mission to turn in. But what's this asteroid X57? Exodus cluster. Let's head into that. For some reason, I feel like... did Have I ever... Have I ever, ever... You know what? Oh, Utopia. We'll check it out later. Let's head to the asteroid first. I don't know what this is. It's in my journey, uh, in my journal. I think there's a, uh, a signal. Uh, it's not the distress beacon from that Thresher Maw thing, but let's see here. Terra Nova, you know, let's let's check these other planets while we're in the system. Uh, Bor is a huge hydrogen helium gas giant. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Terra Nova. Terra Nova was the, one of the Class I colonization prospects discovered by the first wave of Alliance surveys in 2150. It was the second human extrasolar colony and the first beyond the Charon mass relay. It currently has the highest population of any Alliance colony. All right. Well, that's crazy beautiful. Let's see. Are there anything to scan here? Are there anything? Is there... Is there... Loki, Loki, nothing. Okay, there's nothing going on here, except for this asteroid. I guess we're landing. X-57 is a metallic asteroid originally located as the trailing Lagrange point of the gas giant bore. With the increased development on Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary. Due to a shortage of funding, it was decided to mine out X-57, using the recovered resources to finish out the interior for habitation. The asteroid was decelerated from Bohr's orbit using fusion torches, allowing it to fall into the orbit of Terra Nova. Recent communications with the engineering team on X-57 have been lost. The fusion torches have reignited and the asteroid is accelerating towards Terra Nova. Oh, so we're trying to stop this asteroid from hitting the, the planet? Let's go. I don't think I've ever done this one. Now, who do we want? Oh, man. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. I gotta think here. I gotta think. I gotta think. What do we want with us on this one? We're gonna go with... You know what? Let's go... Let's go with Rex and uh, Garrus. Let's do that this time. I don't think I've had these two together yet. Could be wrong. Status. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid X-57. At its current rate of acceleration, the asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. This is timed. <laughs> Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. It's just what we do. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Well, we are. Where the hell are we going? We're on an asteroid. Okay, let's uh, check. What do we got on our map here? We have... Why was there a question mark right behind me? In a minute. Um, we have exclamation fusion torch. Oh, transmission tower. I'm going to have to go to all these things. Okay, well, let's head to the fu first fusion torch. Why is there a question mark behind me? Oh, remember there's no gas. Are we on a time limit here? Because this... I hope not. What? We can make it up here, can't we? We're going to try. No, come on. There we go. We can do it. There, what is this? What's up, crew? Oh, body of G. Mandel. The victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered, only to be executed by his sadistic captors. Well, well, well. So, journal, let's, um... Two missing engineers, X-57. There are three engineers missing on the surface. Yeah, oh, we found the body. If they're alive, they need to be rescued. If not, someone sh could be told where they are. Bring down the sky. After landing on the small asteroid, you were contacted by a human. Three fusion torches are being used to direct the asteroid into the path of a nearby planet. She's urged you to find the torches and shut them down. Bring down the sky. I, I'm pretty damn sure I have never played this mission on the first playthrough, so I'm so excited that this is this is blind playthrough still. So great. What do we got here? Omni tool. An upgrade for a part two. Got it. Anything? Oh, wait. Hey, hey. Oh, I forgot who I have um, who can break into things, you know. Uh, Survey Station 3, final entry, logged by Engineer G. Mendel. The central transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. I'm surprised our service comms work half as well as they do. When Slodge Slaz shows up to relieve me, I'm going to see if I can get the old girl back up and running. Okay, so we want to head... Oh, that was area map, right? But we were already... Oh, is that that one? Wait. Oh, that's Rex. We're X'd out. Transmission tower. Okay, well, let's go. This is fun. I'm, I'm ready for this adventure. That's... Oh, there's that jet burning. Okay. Um, The only other thing, though, is... That other transmission tower... Let's be kind of methodical. That It's X'd out, but can we get to that? Since we're up here already. You dig? Holy shit, the view on this one, guys. That is crazy. Okay, we're riding the ridge. We can stay on it. Um, Yeah, that's beautiful. I took a screenshot of that. I'll be sharing that. If you guys don't know, I do have a Discord. I don't do a ton with it. Where are we going? Um, but I do share things. And I share, like, extras. Like, um, extra alternative thumbnails. Things like that. That is supposed to be over here. You know what? I don't think we can hit that ridge. So let's... Let's assume it's up this way. Just 
to snow thresher maws for a minute, guys. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna murder that thresher maw. And I think there might be actually more thresher maws on other planets too. We're gonna get really good with this Mako. I'm just uh I'm just not there yet if you can dig it. Oh, there's something. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, but where is There it is. Oh man. Okay. Can we fix it though? Can we do anything? So are we supposed to do anything? Um, repair? Data link between the transmission tower and several survey stations has been restored. Survey station locations are now shown on your map. Okay, uh, let's check that out. Is that Survey Station 2, Survey Station 3? Didn't We just came from Survey Station 3. Survey Station 1, so let's get down to our first Fusion Torch. Fusion Torch. What the hell is that? Main Facility. So let's go get the Fusion Torches and then knock out the Main Facility. Let's do it. Um, yeah. Alright. Hey, this is going to be a grand adventure, I think already is, am I right? What do we get down here? We're headed in the right direction. I don't know who you are, but I'm damn it. Go. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing uh something shady. Oh. Can we do this without <laughs> damaging and falling off? That's crazy. Good on you, Mako. I'm gonna have to shoot something here, am I not? Or is that... I don't know what we're getting into here. There's... something. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay, well now it's time for us to, uh... Get better at this. Okay. Oh, shit. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. Try not to lean into the microphone when I'm freaking out. What do we got over here? Oh, that's that one, okay. I just don't think they hurt me enough sometimes that I shouldn't just knock them out. There's three of them. Okay. Because they're just hitting our shields, right? So if I keep my shields up... Oh, I thought that... Yeah, we'll take a level up. What else do we got? There's... Oh, up there. Alright. So let's uh, get out. This is cool already. I'm digging it. Let's uh, head on in here and see what we're getting into. That burning. So this is where we're going to have to turn off the uh, the torch. Okay, bodies. Anything else here? Nope. Oh, shit. Batarians. Batarians. Ah, that's what I said. Oh no. Oh, I need to um also let's see here. I wanna remap what do I got down here? Shield, boost, overkill, unity. 
I want to try warp, I think, because I was starting to max that one a little more because we want to get towards singularity, I believe. So let's map it. Now we have that. Now you, by the way, um, who has warp over here? He does? Oh, yeah, he's a... Cr Damn it. I, it's crazy to me. Um, oh, yeah, why not? Oh, Release sniper. Wait. What happened to my... Oh, I got hit. I got hit, so I'm screwed up. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to like it. Good as new. Come on out. What? Oh, oh, oh my god, single headshot with that sniper. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Yep, 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 let's just hit it. We'll get him. Yes, gentlemen. Batarians. Yes, they are. Check, check. Okay, hold on. Yep, yeah, just send him. Let's hang out over here, guys. There, we got one. Oh, I just screwed up. Ha, didn't need that grenade. Um, you know what? Let's uh, get you up there. Get you up there. Oh, that's how we do that. Yeah, something explosive in the back might um, <laughs> not be a good thing. Oh. Come on out, cool. Nope, we'll stop crouching like idiots. Oh, shit. Um, I want you over there. You go over there. Is he going? Rogan boy, get up there. We're gonna. We're trying better tactics. Let's see where are they at? Oh. Thought so. Oh, area secured. Good job, everyone. Excellent. Let's uh, let's put our gun away then. Okay. Anything else floating around here? It's got to be. Nothing. Nothing. What's this room over here before we hit that door? Oh, it's an upstairs. Okay. Well, let's go to the door then. It's kind of same basic setup as another one. Grenade storage box. Uh, don't mind if I do. If I can remember not to uh, try to reload my damn gun. We can do easy decryption, right? Very easy. Uh, Kessler pistol assault rifle Banshee 2. So we'll be able to hook somebody else's assault rifle up. I think I already have a Banshee 2. Or something tier 2. We're looking for tier 3 for my assault rifle, I believe. And let's let's go. You know what? Let's uh let's do our squad real quick, since we're here. Now, if you'll notice here, I have four extra points. I have intimidate up. My specter training is going nuts. But um, you know what? We got to do further increase the amount of health and shields restored by unity. Yes, we got that. Now, now we need to go to warp and singularity unlocked. So now we'll be able to start working on singularity. I'm gonna want to increase my assault rifle a little bit. And we'll see about other things. Get throw up their basic armor. All this good stuff. Loving it. You, sir. Yeah, let's get these guys up. Because that's crazy. Um, I just don't know. We're going to want... Is it fitness? For him? He, What is stasis? 
immobilize a single target. That's not bad either, but let's go with some fitness for him. Uh, do. Let's get his... What's he got, man? We need him to have something badass at some point. I think we want barrier into stasis. And a warp. And let's get some assault rifle. He's got his shotguns, which is they're brilliant at, I think, sometimes. And we'll do one more fitness. And Garrus, Garrus, Garrus. Decryption, we have all the way up for him. Good. Electronics. Um, overload, shut down, bypass objects. Repair or bypass. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go with Garrus on that one. Because we want some of that in there. And that's great. We are set. Let's go. All right, let's uh, get upstairs and turn this thing off. I'm assuming it's up here. I'm going to assume there's some bad guys. But there may not be. Nothing back down this way. Always worth running and checking, though. All right, guys. You know what? Can't I talk to you guys? No, because we're in a fight. All right. Nice, nice. Let's disable some torches. I'm reading that the torch is offline. Was that you? Can yeah. you hear me? Yeah, who is this? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. All right, uh, what do they want? Why are they doing this? I don't know, but if this asteroid isn't slowed, millions of people on Terra Nova are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've got to go. Good luck. All right, well, we are still cruising. Let's go. And I, absolutely the Expanse, guys. Watch the Expanse. Final season's coming. Okay. And what we get here? Uh, shotgun, medium armor, which I can't wear, but light quarian armor, which can be... Oh my god, these are good things. These are good things, y'all. Alright. Moving on. So that's one down. And we have a couple other places to hit. We're just going to keep wrapping around this place and knocking them out until we hit that main facility. Oh. What's this? Hey. Oh god. I didn't mean to Are you hurt? Uh You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Here's the tip. Two eyes human, four eyes batarian. Yeah. Okay. Unless you have glasses. I'll remember that. Just be more careful. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. Simon, Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. We know. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Terra Nova will die, Shepard. Not just our colony. The planet. There'll be a climate shift. Wow. Mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. Um, what if it lands in the water? Well, that wouldn't be good, but we'll ask, we'll ask. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be vaporized at the point of impact. Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. I'd have to run the numbers, but take my word for it. It'd be bad. Uh, why would they do this? I think... You know what? We're going to ask for a minute. Uh, why would they do this? This doesn't make any sense. 
Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. Um, investigate. They're not all like this, I could say. Oh, why wouldn't they? The Conventions only apply to Council-aligned races. The Batarian government is a rogue state. The Batarians aren't stupid. If they made a policy of this, the Council would declare war on them. My opinion? These guys aren't backed by their government. They've got to be working on their own. Uh, no excuse. If the Batarians can't keep their own crazies in line, we'll do it for them. I just don't want the Terra Firma party using a threat to my home as an excuse to invade somebody else's. Yeah, well, I get it, but, um, enemy numbers. You were on the ground when this happened. How I'm near many here. Batarians have you seen, and where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes, no idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. Okay, um, and the leader, who, Any who? idea who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. I remember that name, and it had no relation to me when I've seen it before, so this is amazing. All right, well, we are good. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. What the hell? You set them up. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Any idea where I can find them? Set the three around. They were running checks on our perimeter equipment. Easiest thing would be to tap into the transmission tower out on the surface. The equipment stations will show up on your sensors. All right. Well, we'll say, uh... I came across a member of your crew. He didn't make it. I... I see. Well, maybe the other two are still out there. You never know. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Okay, well, did we get... Oh, my God. Let's keep going here. Give me a worst-case scenario. We can't stop the asteroid. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. All right, uh, stay out of sight. That's all I need to know. Enough talk. Enough talk. Wait, no, we're, we're not enough talk. Hold on. Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals we extract almost cover the costs. I feel like we all most have seen a station like that at certain points. Um, Kate, or as you refer to her as Katie... What can you tell me about Kate? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her... Oh, Katie. Don't do anything stupid. Time's running short. I'm gonna go punch this mountain into space. I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good luck, Shepard. Alright, a little renegade there too. Got our journal going. Let's head out and do some more. Okay, and I think we have 
something up the other way. Let's just kind of do a circle, maybe. I don't know. Let's look at the map once we get into the Mako. I'm, I'm digging this, though. I'm really liking it. This is awesome. That that planet is insane. Like, just beautiful. So, uh, let's check our map here. We have gotten... We need to go to Survey Station... Wait. Yeah, one. We hit... Where the hell were we? We hit one. We hit the transmission tower. I'm pretty sure we didn't hit one yet. We need to get up there, and then we'll come back down here. Then hit there, and... Or go hit that. Got it. Where is this service station, and can we make it up and around? Oh, that's not going to get us there. These planets are really, really crazy with, like, the climbing and trying to get around on them. I'm remembering that now, but it could always be worse. We could not have the boosters. Um, where is... So there's a question mark. That's the fusion torch, I think. This thing's down around this way. We want to stay on the ridge. Man, this thing sticks like glue, though. You can get it going the right direction. Yep. Get up on this hill. How'd they make it up here? How'd they make it up here? I'm just... Where's their vehicle? Just on foot? Are they just climbing? Gotta be right down there. Oh, in a ditch? Wait, no, this isn't it. Oh my god. Really? No, not in the ditch, you idiot. On top. <laughs> Alright. Fun, fun. There's a whole building and there's this thing here. Storm, damn it. Storm. Okay. Oh. Secure crate. Please. These things always mess me up a little bit. Shotgun, shotgun, assault rifle, Avenger 3. Take all. Can I even switch to that yet? Equipment. Lancer. Oh, I'm on a Lancer 3, though. So, I don't know. We'll look at it later. I'm already on a 3, though. So, And I could be hooking up other people, I guess. But The body has severe burns and shows sign of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. Well, there's two. Moving on, folks. Moving on. Where is our next one going to be? I think... I think let's hit that torch right so we don't have to back up let's go to our map that fusion torch first oh my gosh beautiful beautiful you know let's just go for it I don't know where it is We gotta be able to make it over the hill. I just know I've gotten stuck before. Thinking you can just aim directly at a place. Wait. What the hell? Why is there... Is there something that's not surveyed, that question mark? We gotta go for it now. Yep. Oh my god. That was... Parkour, bro. Okay. Let me make it up this ridge. I think we can. What is up here? What are you? Little aid station. Logs. 
This computer is filled with the operation logs and personal journals from a small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. It includes scripts for several professional promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Uh, X-57 rocking this rock since 2182. Uh, when your world seems hollow, we help you touch the sky, talk hard, and your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. That is hilarious. Oh, th that's a map, huh? What did they put on there? Nothing. Oh, it just put this place on the map. Is that it? Oh, radio controls. We'll turn that back on. I don't know if that's rock. That's a little more, uh... <laughs> you hear me? I'm getting all kinds of interference. Oh, no. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. Let's see if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing... Did I... That's so funny. <laughs> that was great. That was awesome. I enjoyed that a lot. Little add on. Are we getting closer and closer? <laughs> okay. Let's let's go shoot some stuff. Oh, those are the rings that we're gonna have to stay outside of. That's fine. Ground penetrating radar detects anti vehicle yep. demolitions nearby. Okay. Oh man, I'm just hitting the wrong buttons. Oh, I'm getting pounded now. There's one. Oh, geez, I'm getting too close. Is there any more? No, I don't think so. So, gotta take it slow. Proximity detection. I think we're making it, guys. Oh my god. I'm it's sorry, it's just somehow I'm doing this, you know. And let's do a meta gel and then just kill them all, right? We got you, fool. Oh. Man. What is going on? All my guys are dead? Alright, guys. If I use... That's not I'm Unity, okay, huh? Man. Or it is. I don't know. Alright. Blasting cap controls. Disarm explosives. There we go. Let's disarm them. Very cool. We made it. Let's go shut this off. Man. Okay. There's going to be some other assholes here. Let's see if there's something that's exploding on the other side. Finally. Some action. There we go. What? Somebody's throwing a grenade at us? When the hell did that one come in? Oh. There we go. Gotta remember all the explosives. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh. 
And um, it's trying to put me into cover there where I don't want to be in cover. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky here, I think. There's one. All right, let's let's just get down here. I'm wrapping around the back side. Oh. Where is he? I don't understand. Here, we need a meta joke. Is he You know what? Also, Garrus, you since you're not doing it right. Switch him over to a uh Come on, you guys. They are kind of useless sometimes in the first uh, game, your companions, and it's getting to know how to use them. Oh, I just can't do anything right. And then I hit the wrong... There we go. My god. Is he, oh, is he right above us? Is that why he keeps showing up? And that thing is just flying. Oh. There you are, you son of a punk. <laughs> Right. I don't understand how many bullets I can put into that thing. Come on, rocket drone. Wait, that sounded like one of my own guys dying. Guess it was one of them. Um, does that take that long for my gun to come back? Wow. Wait, no, now it won't even work. Okay. And it won't. Okay, okay, we made it. Almost. Might as well grab it. Jeez, finally. Good. You say clear? Perimeter secure. Yeah, I thought so. Perimeter secure. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Disable that torch. What happens if I s screw up? <laughs> Are you I don't. There? You've got to hurry. You really pissed them off. Oh, well, lovely. Their leaders setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! Get away from there. Who's shutting down the torches? There we go. I won't ask you again. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Just tell him. Find this problem and deal with it. Oh, Get man. Out of here. Well, she's still alive. That's crazy. Things have escalated. All right. Well, let's uh, head down here. Let's get back in our Mako, cruise around, find that last body, turn off the last torch, confront Balak at the main facility. And we're going to do it in the next episode.